There's the summit caldera. It sits about 250 miles off the Oregon coast, about three quarters of a mile beneath the ocean surface, an underwater volcano called the Axial Seamount. This is the lava flow that was erupted then. And Four years ago, it erupted in a massive explosion, creating a lava flow 30 miles long. This video shows the volcano venting. Since then, researchers have been closely monitoring its activity. And last Friday, they got what they'd been waiting for. As soon as the magma started making its way to the surface, you know, all, all hell broke loose. The volcano erupted, generating more than 8,000 tiny earthquakes. The seafloor dropped by eight feet. With the help of underwater sensors, Oregon State University geologist Bill Chadwick was able to forecast the eruption. The seismicity was actually building up for months. But Chadwick is quick to point out this recent seismic activity hundreds of miles off our coast is in no way a sign of anything bigger to come. The eruption out here is not putting any more pressure on the fault that would cause the, the big uh, earthquakes that we're worried about along the coast. But this eruption does give researchers powerful information. If they can forecast when this underwater volcano will erupt next, maybe someday they'll be able to predict when volcanoes on land will erupt and save countless lives. We can see more of what's going on. Um, you know, leading up to an eruption, during an eruption, how, how we can anticipate when the next one is going to happen. Now, Chadwick also says a rise in the temperature on the seafloor surrounding the volcano indicates a pretty significant lava flow. He and his colleagues are hoping to take a trip out to the area later next month to get some more video of this latest underwater eruption.